keep playing with these 5G. You're gonna see a lot of difference. You know, you get to the point where people with the 5G, you get to the point where people are warning about it. You get to the point where people are talking about it. You get to the point where they're just getting put up, put up without us even telling them that this is what we want. We we pushing back and they're still doing it. So obviously that's illegal, right? If 5G come out, I'll tell you like this. If 5G come out and you start hearing something about people, something happening. It's just like weird and it's like, oh my God, this is happening to people. I bet you people start sabotaging polls. I bet you. I mean, the world just gets even stupider, crazier, and uh, these people, psycho maniacs, uh, SpongeBob, Looney Tunes, cartoon characters, evil scientists, uh, chips in the dip, and monks in the. I don't know, man. I'm just saying stuff. Anyway, let's go. Uh, so I was talking to a subscriber uh, in the, you know, the, the thing when you win and stuff, you get to talk to me. She's from Milwaukee. So this is not fake news right here. This is real news. She talked, she was talking to me yesterday. We was talking about it. Keep the change initiative to stop panhandling. Panhandling is basically uh, beggars, basically. The homeless. The same people that come up disappearing. But these so-called agencies say you don't need to donate to them. You don't need to support them. You don't need to go out of your way and just because sometimes they say, oh, we're going to, we need this and we need to go get a beer. You can sometimes bring them food or do anything you want. I mean, it's, it's us, it's your given right. But now they're telling these people in Milwaukee that it's almost, it's against the law. City of, city officials putting up signs, putting details on the signs, telling you literally that this is the rules. You cannot do this. It's against what we stand for. And I'm, they put it as a law now because that's what she said when we were talking yesterday. But I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I don't even know if that's a word, but the thing is, just these people do whatever they feel they want. They, these agencies that they say are donating, I, I talked about this before. They do not give the money to the people. Why do you think in Africa they have the kids literally crawling on the ground for years and years of time and the agencies that are supposed to be helping them are recording them, standing there. And the same agencies have not told us what happened to the, the Houston flood victims. The agencies that are supposed to be helping them are recording them, standing there. And the same agencies have not told us what happened to the, the Houston flood victims the hurricane harvey but yet we find out that on my other video that fema underground are getting ready to implement which is already there basically already there so they're the ones who don't need to be supported but they're telling us yet don't do this don't come and support the homeless don't help them i bet you i put a video out matter of fact if i'm ever in milwaukee i'll probably go and do that people are ridiculous you know they, they they do this but people just let them do it that's the thing people don't stand up against it and they don't do much about it and that's why they're just taking all these little dumb things doing it and even like in the area it's saying that uh in canada i seen yeah mother and father in schools supposedly are being banned they're coming to strip your rights slowly they're coming to strip everything slowly this is what it is it's a slow kill. It's not a fast kill. Like I said, like back in the day when you had all the diseases plaguing the land. And if you didn't watch that video I put out, which most of you didn't because you didn't get the notification, it's not necessarily your fault, about the, how the biggest collapse could happen, could be ushered in. That was my last video, and you definitely should watch that video. It's about Manhattan, Kansas, and what's going on right now with this African fever swine. African swine fever, I mean. You should definitely go back and check that. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? These agencies are the same people coming for us, coming for you, having people disappear. And then they use that money to do what? Go in the atmosphere and pretend to go to space and pretend to help people? You're not helping anybody. That's the problem. You're the problem. 
not us. But yet you still got people believing in these agencies, going out to support them. Direct support is the only way I believe in. I don't believe in all that other crap that they're supporting. And even the people behind it, they necessarily could be good and have good causes. But they're all in tie with the same system, same governmental agencies. Who, back when I was in FEMA, you know, yeah, FEMA survivor here speaks out. All right. So I was in the camp. I was in the trailer park camp, but I wasn't in the, 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 the new camps. Back it was 2005 when I was in it, right? So it was a trailer park camp, basically. It wasn't the secluded, locked up, locked down, underground like we know of now. We had the, and the thing is this, look, I'm a kid, I'm in this trailer. I've, in my life, like I said, in the fight, I've never been knocked out. Not in training, I've been never been knocked out. I never passed out. But yet, when I was in these FEMA trailers, I blacked out. Literally, I'm not even lying to you. I, li I literally just blacked out. And I, I was laying down in the trailer, and I woke up, and I'm like, you know, it was one of those quick jump ups where you're like, what just happened? It was one of those jump ups. And I just happened to recall that yesterday because I was talking to somebody and it was like, uh, I can't believe you was in the FEMA, you was in FEMA camps or whatever. I was like, well, when I was in it, it wasn't so advanced as it is now. It wasn't so ramped up as it is now, just as all the Walmart locations are completely empty, they say on the news. But yeah, we find other things and we see other videos coming out. We see other sources. We see other people telling us different things. Just stay ramped up with the guillotines. I've seen that people send me that article. I haven't broken down yet. But yeah, so basically Trump with the wall and the border deal. Also, it's getting ready to ramp up FEMA, it looks like. But that didn't go mainstream. Of course, nothing about FEMA goes mainstream. Anything, the truth about FEMA won't go mainstream. The truth, I can tell you about it. It was also something else we were talking about that's really important. You know how the chemtrails are coming down? Okay, so the thing is with the chemtrails coming down, we heard it that the, the people who have gardens, their pH levels are uh, depleted now. The pH levels, they can't restore them, they're saying. A lot of farmers are saying this. I'm pretty sure some of you will tell me the same thing. If you actually are farming, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of you on my channel that's farming. Give us some intake on that. But anyway... A lot of farmers are saying, look, the pH levels cannot be restored because of the aluminum and, and the metals that's dropping from the chem chemtrails. And this is stuff that's put out in video. I put it out. They came public with this stuff, but it just don't go public on mainstream because they're going to keep lying and they won't tell you the truth. But, yeah, think about that. And, you know, it's people who uh, always talk about, you know, smoking, you know, smoke weed, whatever, this and that. So I was thinking about it. The weed that was here 10 years ago is not the weed today. So here's the thing. Everybody who's smoking and, and, you know, all of the foods, what they're really trying to do is they're trying to have that disease, morgellons or morgellons, whatever you call it, infect all the plants, infect all the weed, everything, the, the stuff, all this stuff, they're trying to infect it with the morgellons or whatever and have everybody develop that disease, obviously, because the metals that are dropping down are causing that problem. So, with that being said, just give me a little bit of intake on that side and something that I was thinking about and something we talked about the other day and it, it, it's, it makes plenty sense so I mean a way to break through all of this would be a society who really branches off and continuously knows how to and that's another reason why they're trying to grow inside you know you notice how they're trying to grow artificial labs is artificial you know, plants, this artificiality, they're growing stuff inside, they're putting everything inside, and they're GMO. So the, the thing is behind the GMO thing, this is what they believe, because I've already listened to the scientists and all of them in their articles and stuff like that. They believe that they're gonna destroy the earth, basically. They don't tell you this, but this is what they're saying. Basically, they believe that they're gonna deplete the earth so much that they're gonna have to live on GMOs, uh, products, GMO, future a gmo and basically you know it comes down to that trying to get that little vitamins out of a little bar or something something they created that's so 
unnatural, but it's GMO figured because it's gonna it's basically gonna be the new society branch off. They're gonna be feeding people when they find out or something happens. They're like, oh, we can't grow here anymore. These crops are not working. So, and then after they're done with that, they're gonna to want to create an artificial world and have everything artificial. And they believe the artificiality is gonna be better than what God put here. And that's really what they're trying to do. Total destruction they want, but that's okay, right? It's okay that uh, just change everything up, uh, try to fix it, pretend like you're trying to fix it, but really not trying to fix it. So it's up to the people to see what's happening, stay prayed up, and ultimately just talk to people and let them know what's happening, let them know the truth, and don't. It's certain things we can approach. It's certain things we can do. It's certain things that we don't have to sit back and watch. Like I said. Keep playing with these 5G. You're gonna see a lot of difference. You know, you get to the point where people, with the 5G, you get to the point where people are warning about it. You get to the point where people are talking about it. You get to the point where they just getting put up, put up, without us even telling them that this is what we want. We we pushing back and they're still doing it. So obviously that's illegal, right? But once you start to get people acting illegal, then you got a problem. Then you got a big problem. So. If 5G come out, I'll tell you like this. If 5G come out and you start hearing something about people, something happening that's just like weird and it's like, oh my God, this is happening to people. I bet you people start sabotaging polls. I bet you. Because, I mean, they're doing everything they want and you, you think we're just going to sit back and just let this happen? So, look, I'm not playing with them. They're, they're playing, but they're not. I'm saying like they're, they're playing with us because... They're telling us like, oh yeah, they're pushing back and then they want to withdraw, but all of a sudden at the same time, you're still doing this stuff and you're not supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? That's, what's, that's what the problem is. They do a lot of stuff that they're not supposed to be doing. You know, so Steven Jackson, JWTV, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, click the bell. Just give me some uh, deep info. That's probably about it for today or that's it for right now. Yeah.